You hear? Do you like my new rifle? Ah, cabron, let me zoom in. Yeah. Bergara. Chambered in 6.5 PRC. Good morning, Jasperit. Good morning! America. Uh, America, yes. And here's the difference. I'm kind of getting into these uh, new, like, uh, hunting uh, rounds. A lot of people are interested. So we have a 6.5 PRC versus 6.5 Creedmoor today. We're gonna see the piercing power and, and the energy power probably, something like that. As you can see, the 6.5 PRC is more juiced up, more pumped up than the 6.5 Creedmoor. So if you do like this round, then you're definitely gonna like this round. <laughs> Look how fat it is. So we're gonna test these two. I have a 24 gauge sheet metal. And these are super good in the demonstrating penetration power because they're thin enough that they allow the bullet to go through but not super thick to where it just kind of destroys the bullet. So we have a bunch of them lined up here. We're going to compare the two and then among a couple other things. But for the 6.5 PRC, I'm using a bolt action. This is my first uh, Bergara. Am I saying it right? Bergara, yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is a not, not the new carbon fiber barrel one. Uh, it is a little bit on the heavier side, but then I love everything about it so far, the furniture, the stock, the bolt on it, super smooth. So we'll try it out. Oh, and I'm using primary arms optics on this. I'm not shooting super long distance, so this is perfect for uh, close combat. <laughs> combat. We'll just shoot it, we'll get right into it without uh, further ado. Jasperi, can you hold this real quick, please? Sure. Nice one. Oh, another thing, they're both 140 grains. I made sure of that. I want the bullet weight to be the same. And the barrel lengths are almost the same. I'm not gonna use a bolt action for the uh, Creedmoor, but the barrels are almost the same thing, so it shouldn't make a big difference. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. Are you safety? <laughs> okay. Fire the hole. Ooh. Wow, that was nice. Not that much recoil. Wow. So what do we got? One, two. You can see the hole is super small in the beginning. It goes right through it. This is pointing right in my face. Wait, it feels weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, 20. Good thing we put a lot of them. Oh, oh man, there's the bullet. I'm wearing gloves, don't worry, it won't burn me. Oh wait, you can fill right there. Wow, what I have next is from Nemo Arms. They're semi-automatic 6.5 Creedmoor and I'm running uh, primary arms again, optics on this. And this is one of the sweetest guns I got so far. It's got all the bells and whistles. Adjustable, Geisley trigger. It's got MB charging handle and uh, safety and uh, bolt release on both sides. They also have their proprietary bolt recoil reduction bolt which is super amazing you hardly feel any kick out of this one so i definitely recommend you guys check out nemo arms they make some of the most awesome rifles in the market that have all the cool gadgets i mean look at this thing just i'm gonna take like seven eight shots out of this so you guys can see it in action you ready i'm ready you hardly feel this thing Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Fire in the hole. It's here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the bullet Perfect is here. Perfect smooth. Okay, so we're almost towards the end. This was the 20th. So we're gonna go back reverse 19, 18. Stopped on the 18th one. Yes, and the bullet is here. Oh. Yeah, see? Perfect. So 18 to stop a 6.5 Creedmoor, 20 for the PRC. Nice action. Spoke too soon, or what? What happened? <laughs> and one for the show. Bye bye. <laughs> so what happened? I don't know what happened. Went through the first rim. Yeah, came out. Yeah, go through the bear. Go through Mr. Gummy Bear. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Look how massive it is inside. It expanded crazy in there. Nothing. So like a rim and a half after that. There's your round. The lead and the jacket. 
one rim through the gel, stopped on the second rim halfway through. And let's see what the 6.5 Creedmoor does. Okay, now we're gonna do the 6.5 Creedmoor, but before I take this shot, I wanna thank today's sponsor is Gunspot.com. If you are looking for another platform besides GunBroker, that's another great website. You can list your firearms or if you wanna buy a new one. They also, for the buyers and the sellers, I think the fees are unbelievable. They don't increase rates and fees. On some things, I think it's even no fees. So check them out. I can't really list it in the description, but you're gonna have to check it out yourself. Gunspot.com, we really appreciate them. It's a great site to go check out. Just pay listo? I'm ready. First, first room paper, oh, gummy bear okay. came out, and like the other one almost, it stopped. It's almost the same result on that one. Yeah. Oh, a little bit, actually no, a little bit, the bullet is here. The other one was more towards the back. Yes. This one stopped Hold right it. over there. Like one fourth of the distance. So, so far, as you can tell, I mean, it's not a rocket science. The other one is a fatter, <laughs> right, Jasperi? Yes. It's got more gunpowder, more power, so it will do more damage. We're gonna shoot some jugs of water, those big old ones, and let's see what it does as far as the energy is concerned. We should see some splash and uh, see how much uh, it will take to stop. Okay, Jasperi, ready? I'm ready. Let me go back. I don't, I don't wanna get wet and then. It's not a... Lisa? I'm ready! Fire in the hole. Woo! <laughs> Bye, burro! You see, that's how much energy it dumps. The, ma the, the shock wave from that inside of the water was so massive, it broke that. <laughs> broke our burro. Can I stick this? No! No, that's okay. That's a good idea. Three, four. The bullet is in the fourth one. No way, this is part of this one. These are two. That's two. That one. Oh! Hey, yeah, that one. Oh, that one is the, here's the pressure. Three. Oh, it's here? Oh yeah, it's inside. It's in here. Fourth one. <laughs> Where's my knife when I need it? Oh, cabron, you're so professional. All yeah, fancy one. Oh, they got the nice one, huh? The uh, weatherman, leatherman? Le leatherman. Leatherman. <laughs> right there. So four did it. It's not hot, as you can see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this water is icy. <laughs> okay, thanks for your knife. Let's go to 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, 6.5 Creedmoor. I love this rifle. Ready? Let me, yeah. Fire no hole. Clear on this? Only two. Only it, two. It, and the number oh. three, the number three is top. One. Two. And stop on the third one. Yes. So, if you are hunting and you need that uh, energy dump into some sort of a large game animal, I don't know what's considered large game. Probably medium game. <laughs> it's a good, it tried to come out just ready, I think, here, yeah, there's a little crack, but it didn't make it out. Uh, knife. Knife. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Got on your genius, that's why you're here, camera guy. I should drink, I'm thirsty. Ah, come. Oh, lead, forgot. There's the bullet. Just the lead. The jacket is probably one of the other ones. So, energy dump, 6.5 PRC wins the game. 
So far the 6.5 PRC beat every test, energy test, penetration test, what other tests? Uh, paper Ballistic test. test, there pa you go, <laughs> paper test, <laughs> tree test. So uh, if you are, so if you already have a 6.5 Creedmoor and you need something more powerful, more on steroids, 6.5 PRC is a good, uh, it's a good choice to have and this was really interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again to Gunspot.com for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check them out. And I hope you guys learned something super scientific today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Gracias, amigos.